wait. All right, we're good. We're streaming now. It's streaming. The streaming is happening. Hello, everybody. We're streaming again. Coming Hello. to you, coming to you live on the internet, and then like five days from now, when I finally post up this video after editing it, uh, which is when some of you will actually see it. I don't think anybody ever actually watches these streams live, but if you do, um, shout outs to you, our our fan. I doubt it's plural. <laughs> You're the real Stan. <laughs> you fool. That's right, you, the girl reading this. Yes. <laughs> uh, uh. All right, so um, Lo Loka has to study for his exams. No, we're uh, supposed to make I'm... up lies about why they're not here. Why are you so honest? <laughs> now they know the truth, Jenner. <laughs> That was a lie. I didn't know that was one of the but lies. is it the truth? The real truth is Loka got in a really bad motorcycle accident while trying to uh, jump the stadium at his college, and he'll be out for a week. <laughs> Terrible. Wait, really? <laughs> no. No. Oh, okay. I feel like Fefty would be slightly more distraught if, if that were the case. <laughs> I just assumed she was being like, putting, like keeping a stiff upper <laughs> lip and like, you know, being I can't believe stoic or something. Yeah, can't like believe very stoic. Loka fucked up on the motorcycle. He definitely has. He never does that. He always does perfect wheelies. I smell a rat. Here, Loka, I thought you were being some kind of like Marco Aurelia or something. My my boyfriend can absolutely do a jump on a motorcycle. How dare you? <laughs> You know, I think this is the reason Breadmaster's absent for so long. He's actually been planning this all along. He sabotaged the motorcycle. That's the thing Breadmaster would do, though. <laughs> <laughs> Only the deepest lore on these streams. <laughs> For some, remember to update the wiki location school. <laughs> <laughs> we're building a deep internal fucking lore. Okay. All right, we're playing for the queen again, and this time I promise to not be sad. I was the dog yeah, last want... time we did this, and it was really great. But I spoiled I that play, I was do uh... Uh, the dog to the players, and they kept leaking it before I was ready to leak it, and I didn't keep it a secret. <laughs> I'm sad about it. <laughs> I, I wanted to play James Amato's uh, mod of this game that's called my Oh Captain, My Captain, but it has not been released yet. Okay. Uh -huh. It's about being members of a captain's crew instead of you know, returning to a queen. But it's based on the same game. Fine. Get on it, James. Jeez, come on. Why don't you bend to our whims? Yeah. When you played it twice on his, on his dang podcast that has thousands of listeners. Okay, so I'm going to read this, this stuff again just to give a refresher on how this works. Uh, based on the way the game works, is actually, I'll read this. It's in here. So, we're all retainers to a queen. Uh, the land we live in has been at war for as long as any of us have been alive. Uh, the Queen had decided to undertake a long and perilous journey to broker an alliance with a distant power. Play. Um, the Queen has chosen all of us and no one else to be her retinue and to accompany her on this journey. So, we're the only ones. She chose us because she knows that we love her. That's it. So, just keep that in mind. So, um, basically how Paul play works is um, there is a, a deck of prompt cards that will just ask a question. And we will uh, you'll, you'll answer that question, uh, keep in mind whatever character you're thinking of in your head, and then other players may ask follow-up questions to those questions after you break them. Um, and then eventually there's a card that says, the queen is under attack. When that happens, that's the last round. And we have to answer the prompt on there. And then the game ends. That's it. Uh, we'll go, I guess, is everyone in the same order in the, the icons on there? I see me, Fefner, Alice, and Jenner. Yep. Uh, yep. We'll go that order then. All right. Okay. Um, that's, that's really it. Um, we know the extra stuff. Got a cat. All right. So, grab one of these. Okay. Uh, deal. One card. To me. Stop texting me, please. How do I get this under the deck? Maybe the weight of popularity weighs heavy. I'm gonna D 
steal these. Hold on, I don't want to. Okay, I just deal by myself. So I'll just give myself all of them too. Sorry, my sister is texting me, so and, and my friend Brian is texting me, so all right, I'm ready. Stop. Stop. Let me make sure they stay in order way. Stop them. texting me. Okay. I've decided who I am. It took me a minute. I had to think long and hard about it, but I, I know who I am and I hope nobody else has stolen my idea. And if you did, I will fight you because I'm an islander and there can only be one. Okay. First prompt. What do you do that pleases the queen on this journey? Mm. I'm actually not seeing the prompts. Where are they be? Oh, it didn't go. It didn't go under the the the, the table. Mm, oh, let me, it did. Let me zoom out. There it is. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, that's better. Okay, so that's for me. Hmm. What am I? What, what am I? What am I? Hmm. I think that our queen has has a a bunch of like highbrow like refined tastes mm -hmm. and i'm i'm the one responsible for carting around all of her like stuff that she has to have with her mm -hmm. like her, her various fine foods and other amenities of being a queen that she is that she's used to in her, in her lifestyle you're like her caddy but like more bougie even than that <laughs> mm, i think i think it's i'm the one that's carrying and thinks i'm the strong one Mm -hmm. Maybe I have, I have a cart. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I have a cart and a horse. So the stuff's in the cart. <laughs> Are you playing a horse? I'm gonna be upset. I'm not playing a horse. <laughs> but did you not think about playing, playing a horse? I didn't even think about moment. playing a horse. No, Aww. I didn't. Not everybody plans on playing an animal Jenner. Damn. So I think I, I, have, I keep ready all of the various fine things that she needs. On her trip because you know mm -hmm. she's the queen she's got to have the stuff yep all right any other questions mm -hmm. how well do you handle this like are you super jacked so it's no problem for you or are you just winded after a day of work well i mean i have the horse pulling the car <laughs> i so. knew you were the horse <laughs> I'm not the horse. <laughs> the horse is mine. The horse also loves the queen. <laughs> I think it is just business as usual for me. Anyway, Fechner asked you if you were okay. I'm, I'm heckling too much. I'm sorry. I am okay. All right. Uh, okay. Do you, are you, like, I ask this question, like, every time to everybody, but, like, are you happy with this or do you resent it? Like, is this something you want um, to be doing or something that you're being made to do? I think I think that's just business as usual for me. I, I probably take a, I probably take the queen wherever she goes on long journey within the kingdom. Okay. So But do you I resent it or are you content? I'm content. Okay. Alice, do you have any questions? Alice? Um no, I'm sorry, I'm just I'm thinking. Um, you don't have to have any questions. You don't have to. Uh kind of wanna shout have a good one. Uh <laughs> I don't have one. I'm sorry. Hey, okay, is, are you, are you hot? Is your character hot? How did that booty? <laughs> um, I I think I think um. Are you think thick I am like, T, like C K or thick C C? Well, I do a lot of sitting because I was sitting in the cart. I think I think I'm an I think I'm an older gentleman. <laughs> uh, like I've been I've been carting around the royal family for like my entire life. Mm -hmm. I guess that's just the job I have. Mm -hmm. Okay, so. Actually, I do have a question. Yes. <laughs> Does your character, do you think that the queen appreciates you? Um, I like to think so. I mean, I, I, if I wasn't appreciated, why well, I have been doing this job since, like, there have been, like, several queens. Y'all, he hasn't told us here. he's hot yet. Don't let him dodge it. <laughs> he's, <laughs> he is, he's got, like, a, a classic refined look. Okay. All right, fine. I was going to ask if you now or ever had long hair that just constantly flows on your cart journeys. Uh, maybe. Some, I think I think maybe I'm, I'm starting to go bald now. <laughs> it's been a long life. But at one point, 
perhaps. He's fucking Ferdinand. All right, next next person. Okay. Okay, here we go. Let's go draw the top. Oh, okay. You no, did it. I saw my decks. I couldn't do it right. There we go. I put it out for you. Hmm. The queen sometimes shows interest in your personal life. How do you respond to that? Why? Hmm. So I think that my character uh, grew up on the streets uh, and was taken in because she's very good at punching. And I think this is one of those situations where the queen is like, what's life like outside of the castle? So I think I don't think I quite understand it because I've basically lived in one town and then a castle, so I don't quite completely understand the context of why she would be asking that. It's like, I don't know, it's a town. I, I lived there. I don't know th anything about class inequality or anything like that. <laughs> just a whole lot of sad people outside of the castle walls, and there are just a whole lot of rich, stuck-up people here. I don't get it. Are you, like, on the older spectrum, or are you still kind of young? She's still young. Okay. I'm still young, rather. Is she hot? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> Anybody else have any questions for Fefner about her character? Yes. Why are you so good at punching? Uh, she probably just got into a whole lot of fights. Probably bar fights even before she was old enough to drink. Just sort of went along her way. Saw some people getting into a dust-up and was like, Hmm. I could punch and pickpocket at the same time. Alright, well then a follow-up question. Why you then? Why did the queen pick you to be you in? I think when she was younger, she probably did that whole thing where, like, she was, you know, she escaped the castle in disguise. By which I mean, had a cloak on. And just sort of, and I just sort of accidentally impressed her somehow by just doing a real good punch. I don't get it. She punched I do this horse. all the time. She punched your horse. And knocked it out with one punch, and it really impressed the queen. No, I'm I punched your horse out from right under her. <laughs> Don't make that canon, because then Jeff's character might actually have a beef with yours. <laughs> I'm not going to punch his horse. Okay. It was okay. an accident. <laughs> I just sort of Skyrimmed a horse away, and I swear I didn't mean to do it. Amazing. Do you have any questions for Fefner about her character, Alice? What about this prompt? Torm, have you mentioned... Okay, so she sometimes is interested in your personal life. How often is sometimes? Hmm. Like, how invested is she? I think she's fairly invested, but... I think it usually happens, like, after particularly frustrating meetings of some sort. She just goes in, talks to some jerk-ass nobles for a bit, comes out and is real mad. It's like, fucking, what's life like out there? It can't be this. Okay, so more vicarious. And also, mm -hmm, a bit of vicarious, but also a little bit of, like, She's probably coming to me a little bit for, like, understanding the problems of uh, the poor classes that are near her. But unfortunately, I'm not a great source for that. <laughs> All right, makes sense. I think we're good. Mm hmm Okay, let me oh, uh, no, no. I was going to ask a dumb question, but you'd have to actually make world lore. I'm not... 
not doing it. Well, now I'm curious about what the dumb question is, even right, if I, mean, I can't if answer you could, it. If you could fight anybody in this universe and win, who would that person be? For some reason, my first thought was pirate, and then from there, Captain Kid. So I guess he exists in this world. So I'd beat up Captain Kid. Okay. That'll show him. <laughs> All right, next card. All right, Alex, that's yours. What do you do for the queen that no one else can do? Uh, hmm. I try to, like, I actually think that I got this card last time. <laughs> you can give so someone to... else if you want. You don't have to do each one. I did get this card last time. Do you want to take this one, Jenner? Uh, well, sure. Okay. Um, so, you know, there are a lot of people who can do what I do for the queen, and the queen is not lacking in people who do the specific things that I do for the queen uh, remotely. Um, but there is one thing that I do for the queen that other people just can't do as well, and I'm an expert at that. And so, you know, um, I'm so good at it, the queen doesn't even know I do it sometimes. So, yeah. And it's more important that she not know what I do, because then it might bother her. I don't want her to feel bad about the things that I have to do to keep her safe. That Jen, would... it's the Hubert situation here. Yes, this is the Hubert situation here. <laughs> Are you... Oh, a what? <laughs> Are you some kind of bizarre assassin? I am a, I am a sex worker assassin, thank you, I dual classed. Fair enough, but are you? Do you have the proper license to run that class? Dude, I mean, are you gonna are you gonna ask me for my papers? Because I'm gonna tell you. <laughs> we have I'll, we have regulatory. I'll, I'll, I'll gladly I'll gladly standards. show you to them. Just come over here with me, where I can fetch them from this dark alley. <laughs> we, have uh, we have regulatory standards in this kingdom. Thank you very much. You have to have an educator's license. <laughs> okay, so I've got hmm. Which question do I want to ask? Um, either which service did she use first, or which does she use more frequently? <laughs> <laughs> I'm very good wow. at all the things that I do. So she requires the services that she originally located me for the most. You know, the the, the sex ones. But the, <laughs> the other ones that I also do well, arguably uh, just as well, if not better, Though it's 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 very hard to compare, um, she also requires uh, sometimes. So again, not always to her knowledge. I have a question. Mm -hmm. Is the queen like married, or is there like a partner? Ah, uh, she's got a lot of suitors right now who are all vying for her hand, um, but she hasn't picked anybody yet. And whatever she picks, ultimately, I want her to be happy, and my feelings don't matter. I promise. I'm not even upset a little. Well, remember, we all, you, you also know that the queen picked you for this journey because she knows that you love her. It's true. But just because I love uh, do, her doesn't do mean... You con considering, do you think... Look, think consi she... look, listen to me, buddy. Considering who I am, <laughs> what I do... <laughs> She's better off with literally anybody else. I am the worst person she could ever possibly be with. I have a question. Mm hmm So, the stabby part of your job, is it something the queen actively contracts you to do, or is it something that, your care, that you took on as, as you got entrenched in her sort of quote-unquote inner circle and became her a confidant? Um, originally the queen, um, procured my services out of curiosity, uh, to see what it was like to be with somebody like me. Um, and I was offended by it at first, but I did my job. But over the course of our interaction, she, she discovered my other talents. Um, as I, uh, decided, I grew attached to her. Look, I'm sorry, it's, I know it's unprofessional. But, you know, somebody <laughs> tried to do my job on her, the other job, the one that she found out about, and I had to stop them. And she found out, and then she realized what I also do, and now she procures those services from time to time, yes. And then 
Other times, the services are also required, again, when she's not aware. So, yeah, she, con she quote-unquote contracts me by asking me to do these things, and I can't, how can I say no? I am what I am. But really, no one else can do what you can do. Nobody else can do what I, I do as well as I can. I have a follow-up question. What's the most notable person that you've had to use your services on for her? The, the, so far? <laughs> yes. Um, let's see. It would be, oh gosh, that's a hard one. I mean, you, you have to, like, you're talking about, like, from her perspective or from my perspective? I say from your perspective. You don't know her perspective. Well, I mean, <laughs> yeah, that's true, I guess. It's, it's true. But we do talk quite a bit, you know, after, after business. Um, uh, gosh, I would have to say it was is the Duke of North Northwestern. Um, he, he was he was a bit of a bit of a dick. Um, he was trying to basically force her into a betrothal. You remember how I mentioned all those people who were trying to win her hand. He, he was trying to basically force her into a betrothal with his uh, second son, I believe it was. Um, I killed them both, but he was the one that was causing trouble. And now he's gone, and there's like this huge power vacuum up there. But it's not a big deal. They'll set it out. They'll, they'll sort it out. I have no further questions. Digging this queen, who's apparently just a combination of Edelgard and Hubert. <laughs> I'm Hubert. <laughs> <laughs> I'm down with this. Oh, that's what Hubert can mean. I just got that. I'm stupid. <laughs> Any other questions? I think I'm good. All right. Here's yours on Alice. What promise did the queen make to you before this journey, and do you think she'll keep it? Before we left, the, key, the queen promised me that I would not have to lead any more soldiers to their deaths. I do not believe that she is capable of promising me that, but I hope that she might, even by luck, succeed in... Like, that that might happen, even if it's only by luck. But then it was probably a little unfair of her to actually promise me that. Hmm. Um, my question is, uh, who are you or what position are you in uh, that that is, like, such interest to you that, like, she'd specifically promise you that more than anyone else? I think that me, I am a... I am, if not her Grand Marshal, then one of her Marshals, um, who has been with, basically rose to command around the same time that she was getting onto her feet as Queen. So we, our careers have kind of paralleled each other for a long time, and because I have always been around at about the same age as she is, um, over time she has developed a rapport with me. And so when she promised me that she was promised me that I would that she was promised me that I would not have to lead anyone else because I have led a lot of battles and not all of them have been victories. Mm -hmm. So do you think she brought you on this because you have had to lead people to their deaths or for some other reason? I suspect that she has brought me along because because she intends to try and keep her promise, just not in the making peace way, that I am either a sort of somewhat, I'm either a tool for negotiation or she is intending to flee and wants to bring me with her. Hmm. Yeah, I think I'm good. Yeah, I don't. I usually, are you hot? I have to ask that one. Sorry, <laughs> I never asked that. One. Nobody asked me if I was hot. I, I mean, obviously. Well, we just assume that yes. <laughs> why why should, would we need to ask? I've, I've got armor and everything. Like, what else could you want? Is it <laughs> like is it functional armor, or do you got breast like titty armor? You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> it's very functional. Okay. Like on the level of somewhere between like. Um, that one character from Game of Thrones, the Sword Lady, and, like, Sisters of Battle, I'm firmly more towards Sword Lady from Game of Thrones. Okay. In, in terms of armor. Cool. Alright, I'm good. 
all business. Mm-hmm. All right, my turn. Unless there's any more questions. Yes. No. Okay. Let me see. Hmm. You suspect this journey isn't just about diplomatic no- negotiations. What else do you believe is going on, and why? Hmm. Well, um, going on what Jenner is saying, uh, I th- I believe that. Uh, since this is a, a journey to to stop this war that is happening in our country that is, we're eventually going to lose if nothing is done. I think that she's going to uh, answer some um, marriage proposal from like a foreign power that will either stop the war or give us the ability to win the war by getting you know integrated with them. That's what I think. I hear a lot of stuff. I travel a lot. What, did you? Is there anything that's causing you to suspect this? This or like, did you get any information that none of us are privy to? Because like, how dare you? <laughs> that's uh, my job. I, I think. <laughs> but also, I think what I think what it is is just from even for like a layman like me, uh, from a from a like a strategic marriage standpoint standpoint for our queen is no one in our country can offer what someone from a foreign power can mm. to stop this war like doing a marriage and in, in within the country will not will it's still not will not do anything to to resolve our problems so they, she's going to some foreign entity uh to uh, get with them so that then they can help us either negotiate and end this war by should you show a force or Strategic armies or something. I don't know. I'm not. I'm not up on all of the stuff. But that's what. That's what I believe is going. Do you have? Do you think that if she, if it's not a marriage proposal and she's trying to forge an alliance in secret, do you think that she has any good chances of succeeding? Um, I think so. Our queen has a lot to offer. I mean, maybe not militarily because we've been we were slowly losing this war, but there are other uh, things that our she and our country have that any country would want, which is why we're being attacked all the time, probably. <laughs> <laughs> I, I had absolutely nothing to do with this. Uh, well, no, this war has been going on for as long as any of us can remember. Exactly. So it, how could it be you? Um, Unless no. <laughs> A time traveler too. Forgot to establish that in the thing I can do. You can't triple class. That's illegal. <laughs> well, no, it's the the thing where you where you you fuck so hard you go back in time. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I've told you I'm the best at what I do. <laughs> and what I do is no, fucking that's kill. Not, that's not what it is. That's not what it is. Okay. All right, anyway, I'm sorry. I'm stealing your thunder. Um, how well do you know uh, where we're going? Are you familiar with where we're going? Um, I think uh, I've been extensively all around our country, but I've never been to this place. Okay. So this is, But I know how to get there. Like, I, I'm very good at maps. I, I talk to a lot of people who also travel, so I know all the roads and all the ways to go to find the safe ways. I am very reliable. This is my one job, and I'm very good at it. I am satisfied. All right. Yeah, I think I'm good. Oh, mm, the hard you are one. considered beautiful by almost everyone you meet. How does the queen make you question that perception? Hmm. Yeah, that is a tricky one. Um, I feel like it's because she's just real hot is the thing. <laughs> and, but also, like, specifically... It's actually the first part of the question that's tripping me up. Because... My character is definitely fairly butch. I mean, maybe it's not physical beauty. Maybe it's like fighting prowess or something. <laughs> hmm. Race and battle, etc., etc. 
Hmm. Actually, hmm. Hmm. Yeah, so... <laughs> the problem is I just... I'm very good at punching is the thing. I don't, I don't know if I'd be super graceful. Oh, I know. Okay, so... Um, I feel like she refined her technique over the years, but... Uh, being around the Queen sort of reminds me uh, that I grew up just a very straightforward bruiser, and so no matter how I dress up, how I fight, I'm still just fighting. And I think when she was younger, she thought that was super cool, but now she, we're both a bit older, and I can see some doubt on her. Like, apparently she's fine with political assassinations, given, you know, she requests certain services, but I'm very straightforward. I so beat maybe, up a lot of people. So is it more of a thing like you have been, like, refined by the queen? And everybody thinks knows. I'm so cool. Yeah, but, but she knows <laughs> mm -hmm. that you came up from the dirt. Yeah, one of those glow up moments where they took off your glasses and let your hair down, and suddenly you're just the hottest girl in class. <laughs> she very specifically does not have uh, long hair. She's short hair. As soon as you pull the sword out of a queen's chest, you get long hair. We all know how this works. <laughs> <laughs> Who's the person who did uh, the wine comic? We dragged her. Uh, manager into the idol group and other such gay stories just that short haired type of character mm. that design i am blanking on her name at the moment you can google it when it's somebody else's turn uh okay um how do you feel about having your like impression your own idea of who you are questioned in this way uh i mean I don't think I've ever thought about it being so much of my identity, but yeah, like growing up, I made it a huge part of what I did. And that's why I'm in her guard in the first place. So why does she look at me like that? <laughs> also, why is she looking at me? If she really has a problem, she could just say something, but she doesn't. <laughs> it's bothersome. I don't like that look. So yes, yeah, very self-conscious. Mm -hmm. Anybody else have questions for Fechner? You already know she saw it, so I can't ask that again. <laughs> I can't believe that the game just, like, came out and cut you off of the pass. I mean, I already <laughs> asked, but now the game is like, yeah, we agree, she's hot. <laughs> Alright, Alice. That's a good one for you. Oh, dang. <laughs> Deep down... In a real, in a very incredibly perverse way, I am attached to the war because the war, war has a kind of brutal meaning to it. It's like, it's a thing to do, and at least through conflict, you can find resolution. But the idea of peace also means that I will be useless. It will be, in effect, kind of the end of me as a person that has any place in the world, or so it feels. And so even as I don't want to have to keep watching people die because of orders I gave, part of me doesn't want to be irrelevant for the rest of my life. Hmm. Yes. Soldier about a war. I can't believe I literally just copied Richard III. <laughs> Well, it's more like a Metal Gear Solid. There's no place for soldiers without war. <laughs> I am just a weapon. <laughs> without the something, war economy. Something, something. War economy. Damn it, you said war economy. Nano machines. <laughs> the, the nano machine economy. <laughs> How do you feel about your nano machines that you absolutely now have? <laughs> um, they're pretty tight. I, unfortunately, I did lose... <laughs> Unfortunately, I did lose a bit of essence, but because the Shadowrun rules are dumb, but um, otherwise, it's fine. Mm. Mm. 
do you carve your own path, follow your wrath, and in either case, have you ever considered that maybe they're both the same? She might yes. not play her vengeance. <laughs> I have not played her vengeance. I okay. only, the only thing I know about that game is just like through sh uh, meme osmosis. I apologize. Do uh, Does Alice, nature you... have rules? Alice, and go do watch Keep and yes. yes. LP of Revenge. It's right. extremely good. It is one, one of the best LPs uh, yeah. they've ever made. Got it. I'll link you to it after we're done uh, streaming. You should. Alright. Does anyone have questions, though? I mean, those were questions. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> totally legit question. Definitely. Incredibly You're building legit. the, the what's lore your favorite, of the What's your favorite animal? This is never going to matter. <laughs> I mean, cats are great. Okay. Is a cat on your heraldry? You like it that much? No. Okay. Then you must not like it that much. Gosh. Look, you don't get to choose your own heraldry. It's the <laughs> point of heraldry. Okay. Fine. You could have totally said that you do. And not, that all, not, true. not all. Not all. Not all of us are time travelers. <laughs> time traveler. Okay. Which is canon. Established it, I so. get to establish this canon for my own character. Thank you very much. <laughs> you get to establish this canon in, like, in the world as well. And um, uh, the, we're, we're building the queen. Yeah, we're like, building <laughs> the world and building the queen. All right, Jenner, here you go. Oh, wow. When did I... What did I do to disappoint the queen on this journey? Ooh, what <laughs> haven't I done to disappoint the queen? There's a long list of things I've probably done to disappoint the queen on this journey. So here's well, the thing. Well, well, let, let me go down. Let me just list the top three, okay? Because it's long. She didn't really want the Duke of North Westington to be um, taken care of, and when she found out that he was taken care of and his son was taken care of, she kind of knew it was me, and she's not happy about that, and she's very disappointed in me because it made a really huge mess and. It's no, not my fault. Like, he kind, okay, kind of the reason why we're in this war right now. <clears throat> very, and by kind, I mean very part of the reason why we're in this so war right what, now. So, do, do you think that like that would have resolved the war if you had not killed them? Then? Oh, definitely not. But it definitely made it like they it definitely made it worse. Like that duke had some connections that could have been used to like negotiate, and the marriage might have been okay, but like. He was trying, like, it should have been a consensual thing. He was trying to force it. Anyway, so that was the thing that disappointed her and me. Um, another thing that I did that she was disappointed in me about is um, I kind of, um, well, look, I, mm, I'm very good at what I do. And I still have to do my job, my first job, you know, outside of the job she pays me well but you know if uh, extra is good and she's kind of a i don't know i guess she's judgmental of that which bothers me i i just do what i do you know i, I still you know i still gotta make a living and she pays me well but like i said i like to have a like i grew i wasn't used to i'm not used to having a lot right so i'd like to have more Anyway, she's disappointed in that, and it sucks. I don't like it. What a so, surf. do you think she's more disappointed that there was so much collateral damage, or that you did it in the first place? What, what the killing or the fucking? Yes, the killing. <laughs> oh, I mean, she's disappointed with how messy and sloppy like, it was. Let me ask you this: Did did she want you to kill the the, the son, or just the the, the guy? That was she didn't want either killed. of them dead, uh, to be honest. Um, but the, you know, what she wanted wasn't what was best for her. Ooh. See, I see. And just because she's disappointed in me doesn't mean it wasn't the right thing. And one day she'll understand why I do what I do, and it's <laughs> because I love her. Okay, is it my turn? I think I so. I don't have any me? questions. Okay, cool, cool, good. Oh wait, sorry. Uh, are you hot? Um, I'm. <laughs> Figured I should dance. Uh, uh, thank that. you. I mean, I'm. I'm. I, I. Look, I'm a sex worker. Of course, I'm fucking hot. All right. The only thing is, like, All it right. might be a like. Uh, it's uncomfortable. There's like this whole. I don't want to get into it. Let's move on. Okay. You saved the queen's life once. How? I don't want to answer this one. And hey, would anyone else like this one instead? 
feel like mine would be too straightforward because, like, there's nothing straight about your character. <laughs> well, granted, yes. Um. Hmm. I don't think I if have. Anybody, if Ooh. anybody feels like can uh, come up with a situation faster, uh, then you go for it. I can come up with a solution, and the solution is I just fucking dive in and punch whoever in the <laughs> face. Uh, I got one. Okay. I think that in an effort to kind of basically as sort of a um, morale boosting thing, the queen visited various garrisons along our frontier and was reckless about how she did so. And I had to lead a small detachment to um, rescue her from an, an enemy ambush that probably didn't need to happen. So you think it was all preventable? Yes. If she had been more careful. If she had been more careful, or if I had been more diligent one way or the other. Was this one of those situations where you led many men to their deaths? I think a, I think that we lost several knights that we didn't actually have to lose. Mm -hmm. um, for kind of a dumb reason. And probably could have lost even more if, had, if I had been even a little, like, less on my game that day. So, uh, what specifically happened during that battle? What they, did the, you have to do specifically? Specifically, I had to... Um, I rode in, lost my horse very quickly, and had to... Um, basically barricade her inside of her coach and flight from on top of it alone before my the rest of my guard could get to me. Mm. Oh, I've got one. Um, was this the first time the queen had uh, done a trip like this or has she uh, checked out these places like before and... M clearly safer sort of situations, I guess. No, I think that she had no idea what any of this was like. That she'd never been out to the... She'd never even been to the frontier, like, when things were a little more peaceful or a little more calm. And she definitely hasn't been out there when we were, like, losing a war. Was this the first time the Queen's life had been endangered? No, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> okay. As far as my character knows, yes, directly. But she's aware that things happen when she is away from court that she doesn't really necessarily know about. I have no more questions. Yeah, I'm good. How does it feel All to right. kill? Ooh, that's a cool question. Um, it feels like, hmm, it's similar to, it's similar to the physical feedback of doing any kind of hard labor, because in the action for this, for me being, you know, my character, it is the whole, the whole feeling of battle is less of a, like, this huge, life and death struggle and everyone is dying in the moment and more of a more of just a blind sort of feeling of adrenaline that kind of takes over and obliterates everything but the exact thing that needs to happen right now hmm. cool all right all right next card Oh, isn't this your question? Because I thought you said oh, yeah, you skipped the last one. I, I guess. I was going to keep going. All right. You have summoned your private meeting with the queen once. Why did you feel disappointed afterwards? Hmm. Hmm. I, I think that I was summoned to a private meeting with the queen uh, because 
uh, before this journey because she was telling me that this journey will be the last time that I'm allowed to to uh, transport the queen anywhere. Oh no. And obviously, since that's been my job my whole life for for many many queens, this is like a, it's a it's a sharp hit to my feelings of like you know my identity is in question now. What do I do? Hmm. Hmm. But I don't. I don't know if she, if she actually elaborated on why. I don't think she did. I um. Uh... I mean, can you still travel afterwards, but just not with the queen? Uh, I yeah, I think especially like like my position is being, got, they're getting rid of it. Oh no, you're getting downsized. <laughs> yes. Oh no, in this economy, no. <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm, look, I mean, I'll be fine. But do you feel like it was a, per a decision made for personal reasons, or do you think that there's some kind of? Or, or do you think there are legitimate reasons that are, like, you know, financial or economic ones? I think there are legitimate reasons. I don't think the reason is specifically me. It's something. It's some external factor that's making this happen. Well, like, you know, we just don't need caravans as a specific unit anymore. The lords just have that on them at all times. And, you know, that's just better design. And I don't know if I necessarily understand what that reason is. But, and ultimately, it doesn't really matter. It doesn't change the material situation for me. Or maybe it's, it could even be that once I get her to the place, maybe there will be no more need for moving the queen. <laughs> that could be it. I don't know. The queen's actually a tree. Oh my god, how didn't we know? Mm. Maybe she doesn't intend on coming back when she gets there. <laughs> we have constructed a queen that is somewhat aloof. <laughs> And at least mildly capricious. Anybody else got questions or next card? Yeah, we can move good. on to, I guess, Feckham's turn now. Yep. Aha. Uh -huh. mm. There is someone else in this retina you love besides the queen. How and why are you keeping it a secret? It's the horse. Hmm. <laughs> no. <laughs> so. I'm hmm. just trying to help. Gosh. <laughs> it's Alice, supposed, it's supposed uh, to be yes and, Fefner. <laughs> Go on. There's an X card over there. I can click it anytime I want. Uh, anyway, um. Alice, how old is your character? Because I'm a little on the younger side. It sounds like uh, you're a bit older. Well, I've already established that my character and the queen are the same age, so... Oh, okay, so actually we'd be pretty close. So I'm definitely I, crushing I was, on you. Probably. I, say, I have no idea how old the queen is. Uh, I established that, you know, uh, we were probably young at the same time. I was... Mm -hmm. uh, teenage brawling age while she was sneaking out of the castle in a cloak age so I think you probably trained me and I definitely think that you're way better than me in fighting because again straightforward and you're a bit more strategic how and why are you keeping it a secret mm. how is a difficult question uh, why? I'm an idiot, but I do understand power dynamics. You're still my commander. So are you are you actually subordinate to Alice's character? Um, like in the structure. I theoretically yes. Uh, there. You know, if you ask me, I do my best to follow orders. Whether or not I actually succeed, mm, debatable. I, I, I'm basically a shonen protagonist, you know. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I just don't follow orders well. 
It happens. Hmm. Do you avoid me, or does this make you like? How does it? How does this relate to? Like, do you like seek out? being around me when I am at the court or if you ever leave court or do you like avoid me out of mm. like embarrassment uh I don't think I would avoid you cause like if I'm not around the queen or you then what do I got other soldiers pff, nah <laughs> so um hmm yeah I think I just try to hang around you because, and I guess I just hide it by doing my best to follow orders. So just really taking what you say, you know, listen to the plans, know what to do, and then just forget it like the moment I leave. I hyper focus on information I will not keep. Drink deep. Become yeah. Shoot to be. All right, mm -hmm. we all know. <laughs> so glad we got some WLW going on. Love to see it. All right, whose turn is it now? I, I'm not sure. Um, I'll say just for reference, can, this kind of short-haired character is what I was thinking of. Post that shit. Hell yeah. I did. All right, whose turn is it? Yours. Okay. Yep. I have a personal connection to land I'm currently traveling through. What makes me want to stay, and why don't I? Oof. Hmm. Hmm. What is my personal connection to land? This is a rough question for me, because I didn't want to go down this route. Like, I, Jenner, not I, the character, did not want to go down this route. I did not want this question. Huh. I mean, I think this would be a question better for somebody else. I don't want to have this characterization. I'm sorry. I'm going to pass this off and take the next one. Does somebody else want to take this one? I would be top of the turn order, so it could be anybody else. I'll, I'll take it. Okay, thank you. Okay. Uh, as, as I said earlier, I am a an older person. I, I think this guy's like in like his like mid-60s. He's, nice. old. He's old for this setting. I think this is where he grew up all these all those decades and decades ago. So like everything is familiar, but in that way that it's not familiar anymore because it's been so long. And there's just like all these like waves of, of vague nostalgia that he's getting as he pilots the uh, the cart, the, the, the coach or whatever through this this area. He just sees stuff he recognizes, see stuff that he thinks he recognizes, but maybe doesn't actually. You know, it's really hard. Uh, I think they actually pass by like his childhood home, and it's like abandoned and empty now. It's like everyone's moved up. Everyone, all these places have have kind of condensed back into the major cities because it's safer than being out in the in the middle of nowhere, like where armies are you know walking through now and then. Uh, but ultimately, I don't think I stay because, like, I have I have to do this job. I, I have never not taken someone that need, where they need, where they I've been told to take them. So why would I start now? And, and I'm the last one. I can't break the streak. I can't break the streak. <laughs> hmm. Does passing through here change your mind about how you feel about retirements? Um, maybe a little. Maybe it, it, it kind of uh, softens that blow a little bit because there is, there is other things out there that I can, I can go do. And, and if this war is over, then I'll be safe again. I can go back here and start a new life. If my a child will... <laughs> Do you have any connections, like, to people still in this, in the, in the place we are right now? Um, I, I think if I do, it's, it, it's been, like, 50 years. So it's all, like, really tenuous. 
I don't think we meet anybody that I knew when I was but a lad. Mm -hmm. Maybe I meet someone's like kid or something. And they vaguely know who I am. Hmm. Anything else? No, I'm good. Yeah, I'm good. Okay. Alright, so this one's mine. Please don't suck. Okay. Ooh. Oh, okay, this is mm. good. Alright, who is this distant power I, I am traveling, we are traveling to, we are all traveling to talk to, and why do they make me uneasy? Okay, so the interesting thing about this distant power that we are traveling to is they're not even on this continent. Um, they're coming over, we're meeting basically on a boat. They're coming over from their continent on big boats. They've, they've really technologically advanced from us, and I should know because I'm a time traveler from the distant future trying to stop this terrible past from happening. That's not true. I'm lying. Um, no, but they're, techno they're super technologically advanced. They got ships made of metal powered by steam with, like, gears that don't do anything and, like, huge cannons that just blare noise and, just, like, shoot fucking lightning. It's ridiculous. And I don't know how the Queen got in contact with them, but, like, how do we stand up against a might like that when they can basically blast us from, like, a thousand miles away and, like, shoot lightning bolts up of our ass without even looking at us? Yeah, I'm kind of worried about this. It's going to be really difficult to get close enough to kill these fuckers when they can just blast lightning out of their... <laughs> Do you, do you think the Queen takes um, the dangers of this new locale seriously? I don't think she recognizes, like, look, she, I don't think she realizes just what these folks got. I do a lot of, you know, reconnaissance for m my beloved Queen, our beloved Queen. So I've seen the as much of what I can get away with seeing without being caught, the full brunt of the kind of bullshit this, this country is bringing to bear. And I don't think she realizes just how, the length of bullshit these folks got. So, no, she's not taking it seriously. When I tell her what they got, even you're looking at me incredulously right now, General, please. Like, when I tell you what they got, <laughs> you don't take me seriously. This is real. These fuckers can shoot lightning. So do you think that's actually why we're going then? I don't know. Because they're Maybe. so powerful. Because <laughs> if we had those, then maybe we could begin this war. But then what am I good for? This sucks. <laughs> I mean, a, a bolt of lightning is not subtle. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> Have you even seen them shoot lightning? <laughs> yes! <laughs> <laughs> they do it for fun. Like, they, they were hungry. And they just shot some fucking birds out of the sky with goddamn lightning. <laughs> and then they ate the birds. And they were cooked already because of the lightning. And for some reason they looked like a cooked chicken even though it's a completely different bird. Wild. A weird. It's, ma it's not only is it lightning, but it's transformation lightning. This is bullshit. <laughs> you gotta tell me you're gonna pick up a whole ass chicken that you found in the fucking wall, Simon Belmont? Come on. <laughs> And just eat that? You don't know where that's been. That can't be sanitary. <laughs> I'm sorry. Any other questions for me while I'm talking about this? I'm good. Okay. Alright, here's one for me. Oh, dang. Oh, oh no. When did I know that I would never forgive the queen? Well, you already why? did one, so you can pass this off to somebody else. Oh, um, yeah, would anyone ask why this one? Uh, if you don't want to do it, I can do it. Uh, yeah, I'd like to see what else. Not long after we, retur I, we returned back to the capital, after I had to save her from a abortive attempt at um, visiting her own people, um, she criticized my... She criticized how the 
front had been um, organized and specifically um, how slow I had been to rescue her and the heat of the moment. Not necessarily, like, rationally. And those later on, she has acknowledged that it was not appropriate at the moment that she did it. Um, I have never entirely forgiven her for throwing me under the bus, especially oh. because other people were around at the time. I saw it. I was there. I left with you, not at you. <laughs> what was specifically so, like... Uh, I guess embarrassing about this. Um, prestige is very important to a knight, and the sort of idea of loyal service, and so to be berated by one's leech is highly embarrassing just because being dressed down in public is embarrassing, but also it's like the ultimate sign of you are not good at being a knight. Yes, sure. but I mean, what specifically did she do that was the worst? The worst, the thing specifically she did that was the worst would probably be... Like, what did she say, or what did she do in front of everyone, aside from just dressing you down? She accused me of cowardice after... <gasps> that, I had, that I had hesitated to mount a rescue attempt because I was afraid of crossing over into enemy territory. And then all the handmaids around her then went, oh, damn. Jeez. Um, I guess my question is, has she even ever done something like this? Like, berate somebody? Or is just this one of the only times... I think that over the years she had been kind of a little unnecessarily harsh with me, but never anything like this. It had always mm -hmm. been kind of like a little snippy because something wasn't quite up to her standards, but never something like horrendously embarrassing. <laughs> um, was she right? Yes and no. <laughs> It's complicated. <laughs> Set <basic> status. <laughs> she's right that I. She's right that I was a coward. She's wrong about what I was a coward about. Mm. <laughs> the thing I was a coward about was not putting my foot down and telling her that her initial plan for how she was going to go about visiting the garrisons was really dumb, and that she needed to do it. She needed to have a lot more guards and also not visit a lot of the ones closer to the fighting. And because I was afraid that she would contest that and I didn't want to have to deal with it, I kind of just passed and figured that it would work itself out. And so because I was a coward on the first on the on the front end, it doesn't really matter that I wasn't um, when push came to shove because it would never would have happened otherwise. Mm -hmm. Alright, I think I'm good. Yep. Okay. Next one. Yes. <gasps> oh no! <laughs> Who is this? this? I think it's Fefner's? That, yeah, it'd be Fefner. I don't know. know if I can do this one. <laughs> I don't even know if I have the poll. It's time for the session to end. No, not yet. No. No. Is, oh, this is. Oh, this is okay. Hmm. Remember, the, the, hmm. all these things are not necessarily in chronological. Order, well. Like. Hmm. Okay, so um, I could work in the, this way. I could work this in a way that it's not, you know, specifically a betrayal. Because I don't, I don't think I would just say, mm, "Go ambush the queen." It's it's not my mo. But if I remember correctly. Uh, you know, earlier Jeff suggested that, like, there are rumors that we're going to uh, ally with these people or, like, there'd be a marriage in it. And so, hmm, which way do I want to play this? Um, hmm. 
Yeah, so I don't think I initially planned this as an ambush. I think I was around maybe other soldiers, and I think I had heard rumors, um, yeah, not saying who from, but uh, heard rumors that the people we're going to meet are super dangerous and can shoot lightning. And in a moment of uncertainty, uh, I asked the wrong people to back us up. They promised that we would be safe. You know, time will tell how wrong I am, but you know. <laughs> yeah, I think she just wanted to make a deal to sort of have a backup army to sort of fight off the people we're meeting in case things went south. So why did you take that on yourself to do? But it doesn't seem to be your role. It really wasn't. Um, I don't know. I think in part it... Hmm. So... Okay, I think there were like a few middlemen. Like maybe she was at a bar, had a bit too much liquor, and met some mercenaries who worked closely with this other kingdom and you know clearly wasn't a commander but you know you don't need power to say hey we're gonna be here other people are gonna be there as well you know maybe uh, you could be here at the same time as us hmm did you consult with anyone at any point? About nope. This? In fact, after that happened, she has been a bit nervous because, you know, there's that nagging feeling in the back of her mind that, you know, maybe this isn't the people we should trust because, like, we have enemies elsewhere on this continent just because people are from a different continent and can maybe shoot lightning doesn't mean they're going to be your worst enemy. So I think, yeah. Hmm. And it's an M am it specifically says arranged for an ambush. So yeah, I think, uh, I've been too tight lipped around it and haven't confessed that I've done this. I think you'll be Jenner next then. Yeah, it's my yep. turn. How dare you? How? No, no. How do you feel about this? Oh. Oh, hey, it's me. Mm. Well, I guess I'm not smokingly hot. Well, I mean, well, again. I mean, it could be inner beauty. Okay, the fact, look, the thing is, externally, I'm smoking gorgeous. All right? People can't resist me, and I'm very, very good at fucking the best. <laughs> <laughs> I want to make it very, very clear to those here in this chat, but people who listen to this video, and people watching the stream, which is nobody, that my character absolutely fucks. So. <laughs> it, is, it is noted. <laughs> A lot. <laughs> <laughs> and they're good at it. Anyway, but the fact that my character remorselessly... Viciously, nastily, kills people, um, seemingly without reason, is something that people who know about my character don't find particularly attractive at all. They're very, very disgusted. They believe it's ugly behavior. And almost everybody suspects that it's what I do if they don't know outright. Uh, everybody knowing it's actually something I do is dangerous to me. So it's largely just rumors. But no, those rumors are true. I 100% absolutely remorselessly kill people and I don't hesitate, bitch. So, yeah, I mean, that's, it's just a, it's a bad reputation that I have that is completely earned that people think is ugly. But the queen likes what I do, both the fucking and the killing. And she thinks it's useful. She, she when, when I'm doing it and she, it's with her approval, she, she, she appreciates it. 
um, the killing and I, you know, I have a and the fucking. <laughs> so yeah, I don't so feel it's wrong. Your, I have a question then. Mm -hmm. So are your your killings like are they like what are they like excessively brutal or like what makes it like a head and shoulders above like just like a normal murder? It depends on what the person I kill deserves. Do you do like ironic murders? Sometimes, <laughs> yes. So I Are love, you jigsaw? I, I love I love a good you... hoist by your own petard end, you know, for for those are who you, deserve are you, it. Are you more of like, you know, sort of the standard irony, kinda like nineties irony? Are we talking like full postmodern deconstruction of what it means to be a, a stabby person? <laughs> You're like a, 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 a how a, a guard is this? Are you like a jigsaw? <laughs> um, so <laughs> it's not so much that you do murders; it's the fact that you're just kind of snooty. Wow! <laughs> Fucking hipster assassin, God. Here's the thing: it again, it really depends on what my victim deserves. If they deserve to suffer immensely over the course of oh several shit, weeks, you are a jigsaw. They will. <laughs> And I will make sure like that jigsaw. they are alive and feeling every moment of their horrible suffering end until the last moment, and then they are dead. And that is the mercy. And if they deserve a quick, clean, efficient death, I will grant that to them as well. And if they deserve some long, prolonged, elaborate, poised by your petard fucking trolling down the fucking stairs, I warned you about the fucking stairs, bro bullshit, <laughs> that happens too, yes. Whatever is required by the job, I can do it, and I do it well. Whatever <laughs> level of irony it needs to have, I do it, and I... I'm good at it. Do I enjoy it? I don't know. But it's what I do. All right, so specifically, sex work isn't stigmatized. It's just that your later movies are really bad, and that's why people don't like you. Look, an artist is never appreciated in their own, in their own home, you know? <laughs> okay, but then you, uh, the second part of the question, then. Why, do, why, is, why does the queen bring that on the question? She, you know, she thinks it's cool. <laughs> she thinks it's badass. When it's oh, stuff, when me. the killing, okay, like the stuff when I, the killing when I talk up, like when when I do the jobs that she asks me to do, not the ones that she doesn't know about, but the ones she asks me to do. When I come back from a job after I'm done doing what is what is deserved, um, she asks me about it, and I tell her all of it in detail. I, I take notes. Uh, you can look at my notebook if you want. Um, in detailing all of it, I draw. You know, I plan it out. It's very intimate. Anyway, and she likes it. She thinks it's cool, and she praises it, and sh she thinks I'm a genius. And of so course, you're saying is that you you got a Patreon? She, yeah, <laughs> she, she's like my number one subscriber. She likes all of my tweets. Um, a literal actual patron. <laughs> she praises me, and she says it's good, and she doesn't allow me to feel bad about it. Not that I do feel bad about it. I don't feel guilty at all. And the fucking, she, I mean, I can tell she likes it. So, yeah. That's not the thing that people find ugly, though. It's the killing that people find ugly. But she doesn't. She likes it. So, she thinks it's cool. She appreciates it. And that makes me know that I'm not doing anything wrong. That Now that I have her approval. Not that I ever questioned it. You baka. <laughs> Okay. Ooh, there's a lot more before the end. Just let me know if you guys are getting sick of it. And we just good. No, no, we're good. I'm still good to go. Well, there's a lot more. It's this is like a long game. Well, we'll let you. <laughs> we'll we'll let going. you know. Like, it, we'll keep playing until like a little after eleven, and then we'll probably have to stop. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. The queen knows something about you that no one else does. What is it? I know it. I know what it is. I know. I know exactly what it is. What um, is it? What is it? Uh, the queen is actually my daughter. Oh no dang! One, no one else knows. She was an illegitimate child, but no one else knows. But I guess her and her mother. Which is what? Which is? And I wonder. Uh, that's what it is. That's it. That's the whole thing. 
I am I am the queen's illegitimate father. I don't know if I have a question for that because you know it's pretty self-explanatory. This is why I have, I I am so loyal. <laughs> But my station is not does not reflect that. Hmm. Um. I guess. Hmm. Do what? you ever like? You're fine with your station, but like. Do you ever wish you could be a more active parent? Well, I mean, at, at this point, we're all adults now, so like, those, those all that, like, everyone's got regrets about the past. <laughs> but I also, I think I also recognize it very easily. I could instead be dead instead of having the cushy job I have. Mm -hmm. So I don't think that I really ever, uh, Gravel, like made it, made anything, made a deal or anything. And I don't think she always knew either. I think maybe that this is a recent thing that she. Learned. Um, was the queen's mom like good in bed? Jennifer never tells Jennifer. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. What about you? All right. Also, we've established that Jeff's character absolutely fucked at least once. Uh, what about you? Are you good? I mean, you're not as good as me, but are you good? I need no, to know. I'm not answer that I'm not answering that question. For the for my notes, for the do it for the nope. character development. Do it for the do it for the vibe. You don't know this either, so you would never know that. Are you sure? I don't. <laughs> right there, it says in the question. I she knows something about me that no one else does. <laughs> She, yeah, That's, nobody else knows that you're her dad, but every, people, other people can know you're good at fucking. I mean, look, sometimes a story's more interesting if you don't know if somebody's good or, at fucking or not. <laughs> That's true. You know, you kids Luckily, today it, just it, want to fill out a wiki, but, you know. It's, it's irrelevant because it's not about the girl. <laughs> it's not about the fucking. Okay, for you two, or for you three, sure, <laughs> but. All right, fine. Do you feel like you're a good dad? Absolutely not. Oof. I was never a dad. I was never a dad. Like, they wouldn't have let me. Mm -hmm. How do you feel about Maybe that? Mm, probably mixed. Okay. Gotta maintain the, the appearance of the court. Right? They couldn't tell anyone that the queen was the, the former queen. Like, the former king, I guess. This child. Whoever the whoever the you know important partner was in that relationship previously. Okay, I'm good. I'm happy. Yep. All right, Ooh. What brings out the queen's cruelty? Well, let's see. So, hmm. So the most cruel she's been was with Alice's character. Um, well, was that really cruel, she, though? Like, I mean... Yeah. She, I mean, what if she's done something worse and it just wasn't to me? <laughs> it's up to you, really. Well, really, I mean, it's not asking how is she cruel. It's asking what yeah, brings what it out. Yeah, what brings it out. So, yeah. Um, I think... I think from, hmm, it's just going back through what we've said about the Queen so far, uh, I think, uh, sort of when she, when she comes face to face with the fact that she doesn't quite know how cruel the world can be, or, hmm, like when she was... When her life was in danger, uh, she got real mad about that. But we've also established that, you know, she doesn't really want soldiers dying. Uh, she doesn't really like the fact that, you know, I've always been fighting, even though uh, 
you know, when she was a kid, she's like, oh, hell yeah, get him, drag him. Uh, so, I think she has a tendency to sort of underestimate others. And she tries her best to sort of understand the world, but she ends up seeing a lot of limitations to that. And when she finds those limitations, she becomes frustrated, and that's what brings out her cruelty. And I guess real quick... Uh, her cruelty is probably more cold than it is, you know, explosive. The, you know, her yelling after a near-death experience is one thing, uh, but I don't think that's the norm. I think she ha more has a tendency to, you know, really just push people out when so, she's frustrated. So less like I run extensive dungeons and more like can be a bitch when she's nervous sometimes. <laughs> But like real bad because you know, yeah, yeah, like bitch it's is not cruel generally. Yeah, so I think it's basically she ends up walling herself off uh, whenever something like that happens, and I, I think usually she's you know pretty open, tries to listen to everybody, but shuts down more when she meets resistance like when she speaks with nobles you know i mentioned earlier she goes to me to hear about the street life to get away from nobility but i think that might have been like a thing she did when you're young when she was younger nowadays it's more just sealing herself off she doesn't talk to people as much and She's probably pretty spiteful, which might be, like, initially, I uh, think Jenner said at first, uh, like, she didn't quite approve of uh, when you killed that one du duke and his son, he, but she still doesn't nowadays... Care, but eh, she's coming around to it, maybe, I'm not sure. It's your canon to create. Oh, yeah, I... You did say she approved of other killings. Yeah, yeah like, yeah, she... So. I think nowadays... Maybe that is part of her outlet. Like, when she starts to meet dead ends, at least with other nobles and whatnot, she maybe seeks more illicit means of getting rid of them. I think she's gotten tired. Gotten tired of trying to take the long way around these situations. That's what I'm here for. <laughs> Everything I do is in service to her needs and what is best for her. Do you ever fear that the Queen's cruelty will get more extreme or harsher hmm. over time? Or just are you kind of confident that she's not going to really go bad? I don't think I've ever really thought about it because... I think to a certain extent, I don't even necessarily uh, care about like that aspect of the cruelty. Like specifically talking about the assassinations, I've met some of these nobles, and they're pretty bad. So like I don't know. I I feel personally I should be able to punch fight them, but whatever gets them out of the way. But uh, I am worried whenever she shuts herself off more. That aspect of it is really effective, you know? You just sort of go in, you see she's upset, you try to help, and she just gives you the iciest glare and leaves. And I hope that doesn't get worse. I am satisfied with this answer. I, I don't have any questions. This, this, this sounds legit. This checks out with what I know about her. This tracks, as they say. 
Alice. Mm hmm. Let's see. How does the queen remind you of her status while on the journey? <laughs> oh, wow. This is turning into a very tempestuous relationship between me and this queen. Yeah, what is up with you? Why? Um. I think that things have been awkward between us ever since she basically publicly shamed me um, in a moment of emotional vulnerability and um, when I am not super up to conversation she will casually no, not for any real reason quote unquote bring up you know the fact like bring up how she was thinking the other day about um when the actual ceremony where she made me her marshal you know passing it off as you know just thinking about how young we were back then but she's really trying to remind me that i'm her boss that like she, i can't just ignore her forever and it's not gone well for either of us Hmm. Do you resent this? Um. That's my question. <laughs> deeply. Nice. Yet you still love the queen. I do. It's. I didn't say I loved her for rational reasons. <laughs> um. Yeah, just out of curiosity. Um. Uh, how good a, at strategy is she, versus how good are you at strategy? She's probably a lot better at the kind of like political, tat, tat like political thinking, but as as far as like running the war, she's the worst. Like no. when she every time that she has ever involved herself, it's either been a a minor disaster or it has been basically me and all of the other higher commands of her army deliberately going out of our way to not do any of the things she says while making her happy at the same time. We should talk. We should talk about what we do. You and my character. <laughs> and how we I know feel... what's best for her. <laughs> I feel at some point we have commiserated at, uh, uh, on this subject we get, before. We get dirty. We get dirty drunk sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> you um, just have to handle the killing parts it's fine it's good instance, when she chose to go on her tour she ignored like she she deliberately like put a path that carried her right next to the border and it's like yikes <laughs> that was a, not a good decision it's just you in a carriage and like two people on on horses and that's it has she played Crusader Kings? Even I. Ugh. <laughs> a time traveler from the future who knows about the game Crusader Kings. Knows how dangerous it is to take carriage rides alone. <laughs> she just wanted to believe the best in people. Nowadays, maybe not so much, it seems, but, you know, yeah. back in the day. I suppose. Mm. Alright, any other questions? Um, nah, I'm good. Yeah, good. Sorry. Alright, Jenner, here's yours. Oh my god. Oh, no. I, <laughs> uh, my character is too horny for this question. This question is illegal for my character to answer. Okay, fine. Look, I'm the best. <laughs> the absolute best in the fucking world at sex. Nobody's better at fucking than me. But the queen, she is really good at fucking. And we fuck a lot. And... I'm super horny for her because of how good at the fucking that she is. And that's what lights a fire in me. My horny fire for fucking the queen because she's good in bed. There you go. Any questions about how good at fucking the queen is? I mean, I don't know. I think you covered all your bases. I'm good. <laughs> what is it? It's pretty self-explanatory. Go on, Jeff. I, I, okay. 
I have a question. I imagine that the opportunities for, for such activities have been limited during this journey. It's true. Because of the nature of the journey. Mm-hmm. What, what is that doing to you? Man, I am I am po just tweeting all sorts of thirst traps on Twitter, and I cannot shut up about how much I want to fuck. I'm losing my fucking mind. This is terrible. <laughs> It's like, and not only can I not fuck the queen, and she's good, but I can't fuck anybody. As I have to be watching the queen at all, all, all moments in case something terrible happens to her. I got zero downtime while we're on this mission. And she won't follow your AD account, so like, fucking, <laughs> where's your outlet? Right? You get me? Can't even sext each other. No sexting? I have no follow-up questions. All right. <laughs> she, like, messaged the eggplant emoji at me, like, a week ago. And I've still got a boner from it. So, that's a barf. <laughs> Nobody asked. <laughs> okay, next tech, next card for next person. Okay, this is me. Oh, the queen thinks more highly of you than you do of yourself. Are you, do you doing the that? depressed dad story arc? It looks like we're going that way. <laughs> depressed dad. No, I don't think I'm a depressed dad. I, I just think it is that I, uh, I think I am very entrenched in like the just a power structure of this kingdom because mm -hmm. I'm you know been around for so long that mm -hmm. I, I very I very clearly had this idea of where my place in the world should be. And any deviation from that is confusing and distressing to me. And yet, I, I, I am very clearly, like, I've had this job for so long that, like, there are other people who could do it better and, you know, more spry people who have other skills than just, like, you know, a, a carriage driver. Uh, and I think, I think the queen, uh, recognizes that I'm probably very good at this, but like I don't recognize it myself because I'm just I'm just the 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 driver for for this this retinue. So I've ever considered myself to be my whole life. Hmm. No depressed dad. <laughs> I mean the cards are really trying, but you are fighting. You're fighting the will of the cards. Your Millennium Puzzle <laughs> Allows you <laughs> to change the nature of the game. <laughs> okay. The great emerald's power allows me to feel. <laughs> okay. Um, gosh, I can't. I'm so. What's your favorite animal? This won't matter. <laughs> the horse. Obviously. It's the horse, of course, of course, of course, of course. Alright, that's your time. There's a false rumor about you and the queen back at the royal courts. What is it? How did it start? Hmm. Well, <laughs> I mean, clearly she brought me from the streets to be a knight. So, like, I don't know. That's kind of self-explanatory. So, oh, hold on a sec. Dang it. Uh, anyway. <laughs> Uh, yeah, what is it? How did it start? Yeah, so I think when she was a teen, especially, uh, is a fairly common rumor that, oh, she's clearly just, uh, trying to flirt with some commoner. You know, she's just trying to ignore her suitors and all that. And, granted, for some reason... I wasn't opposed to that idea ever. Don't know why that might be, but, you know, don't need to unpack that. Uh, I think that's about it. Yeah, just teenage rumor. Hey, princess saw a lady and put her in the guard. Hmm. Side eye. So you're you telling me that people you? don't think you've earned this? I mean, like, there are a lot of people who are good at punching is the thing. Like, sure, I'm good in a fight, 
but a lot of people can say they're good in the fights. And most of them go through some sort of like military schooling first, other than just, you know, getting tossed in, handed to a commander, and told, learn from them. So, you know, it's just a bit suspect. I see. Do you do anything to either dissuade or reinforce these rumors? So, um, hmm. <laughs> I feel like any viewer would see a very clear and obvious blushing or stammering, but uh, I think for a while it was basically just a whole lot of, no, that's not actually happening from both parties. And then eventually there was no romantic relationship uh, as obvious to the public or anything. So the rumors just sort of died down as I just, you know, got settled into being a soldier. You should actually sleep but, with the queen if you get the opportunity, because she's really good at sex. Now, I should note, uh, the, no, we're not in a relationship uh, from both parties, you know, always fairly brief, you know. It was never a hard no. Just happened to go on for long enough that people stopped suspecting anything, and then we didn't have to say no anymore. And we don't have to think about it any more than that. <laughs> is, that is Alice back yet? I'm not, not sure. Yet, I don't think. Oh, no. I'm back. Okay, good. Okay. Sorry about that. Do you have any questions about people thinking that Fefner's character and the Queen's character totally bust it? Uh... Have you ever actually tried to talk about this rumor with anyone? Or is it something that you're just, you're, you don't really like, I mean, like, with, like, friends and confidants? Hmm. Yeah, I definitely don't think I've had any sort of major confidants. Um, I definitely don't think I've actually talked about this to an extent with the Queen either. <laughs> And I feel like if she had any major conversations with anybody, she wouldn't have started them. And also, it would have just been very dismissive. Like, nah, it, it's not happening. Just stop asking. She just really likes how I'm fighting. That's all there is to it. I, I've got no questions. What? All right. Time. Wait, no. If you Wait. if you did fuck the queen, do you think you could pleasure her? Do you think you'd be good at it? Oh gotta, my god. Gotta stay in character. Gotta be gotta be the horny one now. I'm back oh on my, my bullshit. <laughs> I don't think that this character is capable of answering that question. It's Fester's character. <laughs> He's right though. <laughs> he looks out to the audience. It's me saying that. <laughs> Oh, jeez. I also been getting these boys. Wow, this you. game is out jeez. to make Alice hate the queen. We have a very tormented relationship. We're like in the middle of a Nabokov novel. God, this fucking happens like every in every For the Queen game I've listened to. Because I'm pretty sure it happened in like the one-shot sessions they've run, right? Actually, the last time, my character got all... Like, I ended up having all the cards that were sort of like the queen is mean to you sometimes cards and it's like <laughs> oh god because remember i had that one about like being like being the, the punished wizard um what makes the queen ugly in your eyes mm, let me think as we have been side by side for much of our both of our respective careers um, I have seen her time and again, um, kind of, she loses the plot. And not just in a normal way, but in a, in disastrous ways. She gets really invested in things that she probably shouldn't be, um, to the detriment of her actual responsibilities. And people suffer because of it.
Hmm. Like, for instance, she gets really invested in, like, you know, when she's supposed to be studying on things like how to run a country, she's off wearing cloaks and wandering into towns. <laughs> Look, that's just it's just a classic trope. You gotta wander the world and see how normal people live, because otherwise you just have rich person brain rot. I think it's like kind of a she does child she like things that were a lot more innocent when she was a kid that became a little more problematic when she was a, a, a wartime queen. Mm -hmm. <laughs> She's living that YOLO life. That YOLO life. <laughs> She's just living her best life. I can't judge her. Look, if there's if there's anybody that betrayed her, it basically has to be me at this point. <laughs> yeah, weird that I ended up with that question. Uh, I don't think I have a question. Yeah, I, I don't really have a question either. This sounds fine. This makes completely sense. Like complete sense. Completely sense. I'm good at talking. Um, it can't be murder. <laughs> Just setting I mean, that one up it right could now. Be murder. Are you? Is this my question? Yes. Yes. Your question. What is something I do for the royal family that has prepared me well for this? And it can't. Why can't it be murder? Well, okay. How does murder specifically help us on the? Okay, okay. Then how does murder help us on this journey then? <laughs> Look, I do two things incredibly well. I have fucking and murdering. Um, I'm pretty. I'm all, I mean, I'm not all that great at anything else. If we're gonna I put, <laughs> if, I put all my points into fuck and kill, so <laughs> that's why I can't get married. No, no points in Mary. Yeah, 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 zero points in Mary. <laughs> I'm in maxed. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, I mean, if we need to kill somebody, and I'm not saying we do, but if somebody needs to die... I'll be ready to do what is needed to be done. And if somebody needs to be fucked, I will also be ready to do what is needed to be done. But the most important thing that I do for the royal family that has prepared me well for this journey is what is best for the queen, whether she thinks it is or not. Born in a mountain, raised in a cave, fucking and killing is all I crave. <laughs> I was not born in a mountain, nor was I raised in a cave. <laughs> I have no follow-up questions. Yeah, that makes sense. You'd want to have the shady person, shady, shady killing person along in case you need a shady killing done. I Look, I'm more than a shady killing person! <laughs> I'm a shady fucking Well, yeah, but we've person. already... I'm, double, I'm dual classed! <laughs> We've already discussed, though, that there's just been no time for fucking on this journey. But maybe the time will come when my fucking skills will be needed most. <laughs> you don't know. <laughs> anyway, next person. <laughs> I can't believe you're like, I can't be killing. Fine, it'll be fucking then. I'm good at two things. Which one do you want? Pick your poison. <laughs> Hmm. Tareen trusts me, but no one else in the rough court does. Why? Well, we know they don't know <laughs> that I'm secretly her father. I, I think I think it's just because no one no one can figure out why I've held my position for as long as I have. <laughs> that I think that's that's entirely it. Like why is this dude had this same job for like fifty years? What did he do to get this? There must be something shady going on here. He's not moved up or down. What yeah. the hell? Exactly. And and some people are jealous. Some people are wondering why I have not tried to, you know, increase my station. Some people just don't trust me because I'm, I'm like not, I'm in some weird liminal state between like the various levels of nobility. Hmm. So, is it just distrust? Has somebody made a move against you, or is it just 
it's real weird that this guy is in the same position, but also he's just head of transportation, so whatever. Yeah, I think it's I think it's real weird, but I don't think anyone's ever like ten, I don't think I'm a threat to anybody. Yeah. Just the dude that drives the carriage. And I have for longer than anyone can remember, basically. <laughs> There's just one guy in the court who's like, he's he's just putting all his points at he's 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 banking all of them. <laughs> You see, he's just, at some point he's just going to come out of nowhere and he's going to be king. Wow. Imagine that, and that would be ridiculous. <laughs> you don't promote for long enough, and then after a while you can just get a strong enough promotion to just get to the top. That's how it works. <laughs> the thing is, his promotion is tied to storyline. If there's just a cutscene, so we just have to get to the <laughs> point in the plot where he unlocks his, 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 you know, his level up, his class up. I mean, it might just be like the 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 Jigen then, though. <laughs> you might guy be that Jigen. is high level and then just gets get killed or goes you away. You realize by left. playing the old dad, you've got like a million fucking death flags already, and now you want to be the Jigen <laughs> mentor? You're just like kill me, <laughs> end it. <laughs> um. All right. Uh, why haven't you tried to get in a better position to be closer to your daughter and like be? more influential in the court mm, i think i think he's just not ambitious mm. you see it's, i think he thinks like it's it's either too difficult or too much work to do that so he just has not tried okay did you know the queen's mom was the queen's mom when you slept with her absolutely okay <laughs> but you're not ambitious so why'd you fuck the queen <laughs> sometimes you just gotta do what you gotta do <laughs> Sometimes you just meet a person and you like them. It happens. Yeah, exactly. Okay, you weren't doing it for any... My character does not understand doing things that don't have a benefit to themselves, so I'm just standing, just looking at you in bafflement. Yeah, exactly. That's why no one trusts me. Mm-hmm. Because I'm not, I'm not doing all the, the, the courtly, like, intrigue and shit. I'm just, like, this weird static force that's just there never get involved in anything. Okay. Next one for Fethler. All right. <laughs> Why are some others at the royal court jealous of your relationship with the queen? Well, I think we're just doubling back to earlier. Like, I was a commoner, and I still act like it a fair bit, and the queen still likes me, and she doesn't often like nobles, especially the ones who are, you know, kind of screwing the country over. Mm. So, like, even the people are at home are jealous that, like, this fucking commoner came in. And, you know, I'm not, like, a commander or anything. <laughs> the world hasn't uh, gone that crazy yet. No, you're like an elite unit. Yeah. Like, I'm just real unit. good. Nonetheless, despite being a foot soldier and a commoner, the queen still likes me at all and is still very friendly towards me, so, like, what hell? What hell, indeed. <laughs> all right, any questions? Uh, I mean, I still want to know if you're good at sex, but you're never going to answer. <laughs> Look, somebody's going to have to find this out. Get over here. Let's just figure this out together. <laughs> what part of Shonen Protagonist don't you understand? <laughs> Fafner's character doesn't even know what sex is. <laughs> uh, I turned my TV off by accident. Hold on a second. Any more questions? I'm sorry, I can't think of more questions. This is fine. I can see why people would be jealous of this. Ah, I'm bad at this game. All right, <laughs> Alice time. Alice? The queen gave you a compliment once. <laughs> what was it? And why have her words stayed with you? Um. I'm so glad I didn't get this one because I'm so tired of my two things. <laughs> Well, there are only two things it could be. We've established this. So, for if you had gotten this card, it would be either one or the other. Oh. <laughs> uh, I 
I think that the Queen, when they were younger and the war started to heat up, she she paid me a favor. She she should kind of like cemented our friendship by praising me for uh, she specifically praised me for being unwavering in my bravery and dedication in regards to um Waiting in and fighting myself, and not just like staying in a tent behind the, behind the lines. Um, which was part of why her calling me a coward was even worse, because it was the thing that originally made us kind of friends. That's cool. Oh, I don't have any follow-up questions. Let's for it. Has this... I mean, we know that she threw you under the bus and you'll never forgive her, but did this cool. moment of, like, you know, in, like, really... like, of really inspiring you and... like, did it help even remotely with those bad feelings? Did this happen before or after that? Yeah. This happened long before, like okay. years and years, like an establishing part of their relationship. It's like learning that, in fact, actually, with the friend you bonded over your shared favorite anime, in fact, hates hates the anime, like, but you don't find out until twenty years later, <laughs> in the middle of a, of a fight. dinner time. I guess it's my time. I'm gonna try and come up with something new that my character does if it asks me more about my two things. Oh, jeez. Okay. Hmm. I mean, it, it's it's true. Maybe maybe you just don't believe in, in states. The, 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 the cards also know what my ultimate end plot for this character is going to be so fine we'll do this yeah it's true the queen isn't actually my in my ruler my leech i'm not really in service to the queen i still love her and i still ostensibly act in service of her and in her best interests but again sometimes she doesn't know what is best for her and my liege and i do know what is best for her and for this continent um, I work for the Queen because it's in the Queen's best interests, and I love the Queen. If I was doing this job and didn't love the Queen, things would be very, very different. I wouldn't even have this job. I wouldn't even be serving under the Queen. I'm only here because I love her so much. Otherwise, I'd be, you know, doing something else, putting my skills to different uses. Um, yeah, it, the Queen, you know, makes good use of my skills when I'm not using them for you know, the queen's best interest that she's not aware of and doing what needs to be done for the betterment of this continent. So the queen isn't a bad, you know, ruler, the fake ruler. She's just not my real liege. Shrug. That feel when you never actually resign your old job? <laughs> well... You just I wouldn't, casually I, pick up I another one? I wouldn't have taken this job if it didn't, like, if it didn't specify these, these, these things, you know? It's because I am in love with the Queen that, that they assigned me this, you know, that I took this job. And I specifically sought out this job, you know, because of my love for the Queen. So, okay. yeah, I mean, it's just kind of the best of both worlds to do what is right. I'm the only one... Who can do that? To, to, who can do what needs to be done? Nobody can love her, and love this country like I do. Okay. My turn. Ah. Uh, no. 
Oh was like, oh. So death of someone you loved, who, what happened? <laughs> Wait, who's, oh, jeez. Uh, Did she assassinate oh, her mom? I, I think that's what it is, yeah. Oh, dang. I think, I think that the queen had her mother assassinated. Uh, because... I think I think she was getting maybe too, um, she was getting too concerned with her own life as opposed to like the needs of the nation. In her view, the old queen was so she had to be she had to be removed because she wasn't effectively governing anymore, according to the new queen. Mm. But she would never have seen the power. And like. I can't do anything about that. That's above my station. So, like, what are you supposed to do? Hmm, so... How recent was this, then? Um, maybe in the last, like, ten years. Mm-hmm. Uh, what is the general, like, hmm. People probably don't know it's an assassination, but are there, like, rumors about it? Um, I think it's actually a fairly standard way that power is, is seated in this nation. Ah, all right. So, I think people know, but, like, you don't talk about it. Right? <laughs> you don't, you don't bring it up in, 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 uh, in court or in place the light society even though we kind of know it's like oh yeah she totally had her, had her mother murdered she had her mother assassinated who had her mother assassinated who had also had her mother assassinated i've been yeah, here a long time happens. folks have you fucked all the queens maybe <laughs> It's not my character. It's not my character's turn. You're gonna have to ask that question when I can make this kind, of, these these kinds of inquiries. <laughs> Canon. Okay, that's all I have. All right. Maybe this will be the last round here. All right, cool. Yeah, we should probably stop here soon. We're mm. a little bit after 11. When was, when was the last time the queen hurt you? Hmm. I that think this... I think this goes back to my accidental betrayal, because we're uh, on this journey, and there are a lot of rumors circling about, and I hate all of them. We're apparently going somewhere dangerous, but also apparently this might finally be uh, her settling down with a ruler. Maybe she might be marrying. And I don't know. For some reason, I just hate that. I've, I've always been glad that she rejects suitors. But, you know, I've just I've had all of this circling in my head and she won't say a word about it. We still do small talk, but like anytime I try to ask about the specifics of what we're doing. She just says it's a diplomacy mission. Hmm. How bad does it hurt? Oh, this is just the worst. I hate this. <laughs> Dang. Relatable, I guess? Question mark? Mm, I don't feel things. All right. Oh, jeez. <laughs> you saw the queen do something terrible to keep the residents safe. What was it? And did you come to respect her more or less afterwards? Well, at least she kept it safe this time. <laughs> hmm. Do let me think about this one. Um, hmm. I think that 
on our journey, before we had actually left the borders of our kingdom, um, we ran to a, we like had to, we basically camped out on the edge of the like, the border. And while we were there, some of my guards captured a, um, a young man traipsing about the woods and he wasn't doing a very good job if he was trying to be stealthy um, and he claimed to be lost but he also sound, his accent was also suspiciously foreign sounding and there was a very real chance that he was a agent of an enemy pow- of the enemy power and so not knowing for sure whether he was or not the queen told, made clear to everybody that, you know, she was letting him go, you know, he was just some harmless person, and then, but she was going to, but she had me and her and one, me and her walk, basically walk him out, um, and as soon as we were out of sight, she gut him, gutted him, like, which shot both of us, including the queen, who... <laughs> Like didn't like thought that this would be a lot easier because she's surrounded by people who do this as a, a job. Um, she convinced he was a spy. She could not find any evidence that he was a spy, but she's adamantly convinced he was. I think that I respect her. Mm. I think that I respect her a little bit more, not because what she did was good. But because she didn't make me do it. And I was really surprised that she did that she didn't foist this horrible duty onto someone else. <laughs> and she actually did it herself. Like that she didn't get me or her um <laughs> confidant to do it. And said so she just like did it herself and I was like, Wow. I mean, that was really terrible and fucked up, but dang, nice. I mean, do you have any idea why she did it herself instead of coming to people who would have been better at such a thing? I think that I asked her, and she said that it just felt like the right thing to do. But I, part of me, the the bitter part of me suspects that she didn't want to face other people's criticisms. Hmm. Because if she asked them to do it, they might question her motives hmm. for doing so. But I don't know if that's true. I have no other questions. Alright, this last one, then we do the last one. The queen had me punished once. It's me, huh? I've been naughty. And I need to be punished. <laughs> oh my god, god really? Don't make it sexy! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> alright, alright, alright. Let me spin the wheel back for Horny. <laughs> Are you sure I can't make it Horny? <laughs> Please. Oh my god, really? <laughs> no, I'll, st- I'll stop. <laughs> I can, though. You know I can. <clears throat> Alright. So, I've done a lot of things for the Queen at the Queen's Askins and for the Queen um, because it was the right... The, the thing that was best to be done for the Queen's sake and for the country's sake and for the continent's sake and, you know, my liege and I both thought that would be right. Um, But the Queen... Oh my god, what can I do that's, like, really fucked up? Hold on a minute, I gotta think. Give me just a second. Well, I what if it just, like, what if it's just, like, disobeying her and she finds out about it? No, 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 what can, I know what I did. I want to know what she did what to if, me. Ooh. What if she made you, made, what if she made you leave for a certain long amount of time? Oh, she would never like, do that. She'd miss my you fucking too much. For, you, you can't, you, we can't, you can't come back for a month. No, that'd be, no, she would never. like, brace it. No, never, never. Oh, I don't want to go down that road. I, I thought of something, but that's bad. 
I'll talk about it later. Um, okay, so the queen had me in after, okay, yep, yep, let's do this. After I killed the duke and his second son, the queen was so furious at me that she ordered me to kill somebody I cared about. And that's how she punished and, me. And? and? Did you? Did I? She thinks so. Interesting. Did you what? Did you feel betrayed in any way by the personalness of this? The only person who was betrayed here was the queen. That she could think I could ever love anybody as much as I love her, or anybody besides her, is foolish. All I had to do was convince her that this person was somebody I cared about. Interesting. And for now, it appears that she believed it and fell for it. She, she seemed satisfied with my punishment. It makes me wonder if she actually cared about the Duke and the Duke's son that she would make me think about, like, make me kill somebody she thought I cared about. Mm. Mm. All right, well. I am. Okay, we did it. This one. Who wants to go first? Hmm, well, <laughs> Queen's under attack, and that's my fault. My bad. <laughs> Actually, uh, hmm. You know, unless anybody else wants to uh, name specifics, I feel like the country we were going to meet with, actually pretty chill. I, I think that they're Just actually good allies. Just because ships and can shoot fucking lightning doesn't mean they're horrible. <laughs> and you know, it turns out uh, they're actually pretty good. Just too bad I accidentally got another army here mixed up with this. So, yeah, I'm, I'm going to defend the queen. So we're like in the middle of two like, armies right now? Three armies. We're battling three armies right now. Four, five armies. Now, just five three. armies going got, for... Armies got, right here. Ten Let's armies. Go to the sheep. We've got the ship people who can fire lightning, um, our retinue, and then this group that uh, Fafnir's character. Our retinue is not an army, though. It's oh, just well, okay, so we're just two armies. It's us between two armies, yes, I think. Yeah, yeah, but we have been blindsided. Yeah. And again, my bad, so gonna live like a Shadow Protagonist, die like a Shadow Protagonist. Am I gonna die? I don't know. Let's see how Hello. everybody else does first. What about you, Jeff? Uh, I think I attempt to, like, uh, remove, I, I don't, I would not fight, because I'm not that kind of character, but I would attempt to, like, spirit her away in, in the carriage as fast as possible. But if I, like, someone threatened my life, I probably would fold, like, wet hair back. <laughs> like, not on purpose. <laughs> but I'm an old man. I've never fought anything in my life. I just drop a carriage. So I think the answer is actually no. Just because I don't think I'm capable of doing it. I think I think when it came down to it, I would cower and hide. Because I've never been I've never been challenged in my life. Because I've, I've had the same position for so long. I don't know what strife is. I um I also don't defend the queen. Uh, this is what's best for her. It always has been. This has been my mission all along. Nothing personal, your highness. You told me to kill somebody I loved. Dark. Dark energy. Wait, is everyone going with me? Yep. yep. Uh, I think in the end, I do. Because even though she was really terrible to me, apparently, <laughs> a lot, um, it is the only thing that I know that makes sense. 
Hmm. I can't tell if I get Bolivian Army ending then, because the Marshal's here, so like... Yeah. I mean, the two people who are actually good at fighting, uh, face-to-face fights and not sneaky skullduggery backstabbing stuff or defending the Queen, and the only person who's like has combat experience is the sneaky backstabby one, not doing sneaky backstabby. So it looks like the Queen's doing good, and like the other person <laughs> who's betraying the Queen is just running away. So I'm going to get just completely terrible ass fuck. that's going to be great. <laughs> I will say, though, uh, since it ends here, we don't have to worry about the drama afterwards. I do admit my love to the queen, but also I literally can't face her because this is my fault. So, like, yeah, I, I admit that in the end before going out. I think I survived, but I, I am put up a deep shame. I think, um, I don't know who takes out Fafner's character, but my character and Alice's character have a really badass fucking duel. <laughs> yes. <laughs> like, in, like... I'm not sure who would win and, that. And the people on the ship, like, put up lightning so it looks really cool. Just, so, just for, <laughs> like, just for the aesthetic. <laughs> and they, like, clear a little ring, and there's, like, fight, 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 and lightning everywhere. Exactly. And ultimately, in a straight-up fight, my character can't beat Alice's uh, f- character in a straight-up fight. Um, my character will try to, like, throw a dagger at the queen to finish their job before they're taken out. But I, I, that's up to Alice if it actually hits. My character cannot, is, is dead, if Alice kills them. <laughs> Yeah, I don't. I don't see her making it out. Making it out of that alive, or yeah. if she does, not with that. Not because she tried very hard. Yeah. <laughs> Rip. And, and I can catch shit. the knife. <laughs> I think that happens. It's the closest I come to facing the queen. It's just me already injured, grabbing the knife, very clearly bleeding more because of it, and then just going back into a fight. Mm-hmm. All right, everyone. So we did it. That's for the queen. Any final thoughts? Uh, hmm. <laughs> I could have been hornier, and I, I know you didn't want me <laughs> could to be. You? Yeah, I could, could have. You? Yeah, I absolutely could have. I pulled, well, I, I pulled get, back. Well, Jenna didn't get graphic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess. Like, some of the, some of the, the, the totally best of sex stuff was like someone who never really had sex talking about having all the sex. <laughs> so, no, like, that's not true. <laughs> My character of all the performative has... horniness that has ever happened, this is the most performatively horny. <laughs> I approve. How dare you? My character has fucked and is there and is good at it. <laughs> oh no! Red acceleration. You think you're good at sex? So I would name name the members of that band. Yeah, name 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 its name, name all of its songs. <laughs> All right, I gotta go to bed. Yeah, thank you for it. playing the right. game, everybody. Good night. Right, like, I'm gonna stop shooting. That's fun. I got. I'm glad I got to play that one. Yeah. Good night. Bye. Get my hands on the pirate one. <laughs>